Hello everyone, this is Teddy the roofer. We are doing a roof replacement today in Dover, Delaware. I'd like to show you some things about uh, roof replacement. First, we tear off all the old shingles. All, all the roof is there in our trailer. We remove all the step flashing. The old step flashing was here under this, and we install our new drippage. It's here, new drippage at the top of it. Ice and water shield. So this seal is here. At the wall, we install ice and water shield here at this side wall ice and water shield at the bottom and same at the edge ice and water shield synthetic roof under alignment or felt at the top of the ice and water shield on the edge our drip edge this is the right way to do a new roof or install a new roof system to keep the warranty of the shingle manufacturer. And to secure our felt we use waterproof plastic cup staples. So no matter if we can't finish a job in one day, we have dried the roof, it will not leak. Like today there is a chance to rain. There is a chance of rain around 2 or after 2 p.m. And we don't worry about it because we have everything covered, everything secure. At the peak of the roof like this, we leave it like this because we have to cut a little more here to install rich vent so the attic can breathe. See this roof, it don't have, don't have a rich vent. This is a neighbor, someone did this. All the system, they installed this. But now, all the manufacture of shingles they require to install richment at the peak of the roof. Maybe you ask why is this different than this? This is because we was here early in the morning to sieve the material and we tear off and we install the this felt but the felt of these shingles is this so the next step in the process is install a starter the one pieces go under or before the first shingle. Let's see here. 